What is going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video, my name is always is Face Jasper and I welcome you guys back to my channel, hold on let me adjust that. So uh, today we're going to go over a workout but I wanted to say something because I saw something on Reddit, that's their subreddit called Juicy or Not, and they accused me of taking steroids which is completely funny to me because... Well, you guys know that I'm obviously not. I, like, I'm not that big, you know. I don't even lift really. So, um, I just wanted to go over some comments in the in the thread because it was really funny to me. Guy is juicy. Shoulders don't normally look like this unless he's got the same disease as this guy. Other one says juice, but very cheap. <laughs> this one is also very funny. Maybe he had hormonal problems. At 17, looked like a walking skeleton, which is true. Uh, and doctor put him on TRT. Well, that's not true, but um, I just wanted to go over that because it's really, really funny uh, to me. Obviously, I'm not on steroids, so if you, uh, if you ever thought that I'm on steroids, you're wrong, boy. Another thing is if you haven't voted yet in the description. I was nominated for an award, so if you haven't voted, go check the description. It will be a link. Uh, me and four other people who have been nominated for best YouTube channel in a fitness category. Um, for a fitness award show, uh, which is really cool. So go to the description down below and cast your vote. Whoever you vote for, it's really dope. I support all the people that have been nominated. Um, and I won't win, but uh, it's really cool to see if you guys actually voted or not. So um, yeah, let's just jump into this workout. It's going to be a back, shoulder, and bicep workout. A really good one. So let's do it. What's going on guys, welcome to the commentary, we're going to be looking at the workout that we did today, me and Leon trained together, so we had a lot of opportunity to film, which is really, really nice, because usually I train alone and I can't really film that much, but today we're going to go over a back, shoulder and bicep workout, and the way we structured it this time is to do two back exercises, then two shoulder, then one back, then one shoulder, and then two bicep exercises, so we're going to do three exercises for our back, three for our shoulders and one for, uh, true for our biceps, excuse me. Um, so we did two back exercises at first and I also, uh, I already, you guys already know that I always like to start off um, with some pull-ups. We uh, decided to go wide with pull-ups to concentrate more on the lats today. And uh, what I, another tip I can give you guys with this pull-up, I haven't mentioned it before I think, is to use uh, your hands as cups. So you have your thumb over the bar when you do pull-ups. That way you feel it better in your lats. And um, I switch it on and off. As you can see here, I'm doing full grip. I think after the fourth uh, rep, I'm switching to the cup grip. Um, right here, you can see I'm switching uh, because you feel a little bit better in the lats, in my opinion. So uh, play with that. Make sure uh, you're still doing it well and stuff. But um, that's something you can try to do. Uh, then we're uh, moving on to a VR row. This next size I haven't been doing a lot lately, but uh, I tried it last week again and it felt really, really good. I really felt it in the lower lats area a, a lot, so I wanted to do it again today. Um, by the way, the uh, pull-ups was five sets of eight repetitions with weight. So we added a 20, um, I think it's that 25 pounds um, plate on there. And uh, we did this exercise, I think, four sets with 10 reps. And we ended off uh, this, um, the, oh, I think we did three sets, actually. So three sets, and the last one was a drop set. So we did, um, the first two sets were 10 reps, and the third one was six reps, then played off six reps, and then another played off, and then another six reps to finish it off. So a double drop set, if you would like. Um, drop sets are just very, very nice to do. As you can see here, um, we're doing the drop set. So... With this exercise, it is very, very important to keep your lower back straight. There's a lot of pressure on your back when doing these. Uh, the more weight you use, obviously, the more stress your back is on. So, want to make sure if you're going to go a little bit more heavy, that you keep your back straight at all times. Um, what I like to do is not bend over as much as I used to. Um, usually, before, um, like last year or something, I was like almost a 90 degree angle with my legs. Um, I don't go as low anymore because I feel like it puts too much pressure on my lower back and that really messes me up, you know. So, um, this was a great, great exercise. If you haven't done it before, definitely do it. Um, then we went, as I said, into shoulders. So we started off, we wanted to start off with some kind of um, shoulder press with a barbell and we decided to do this seated one, which is a lot heavier um, than doing standing because you 
merely focus on the shoulder. There's no way you use your legs. There's no way you use anything else but your shoulders. So it's a great isolation and um, you know it feels really, really good from the start. So uh, we decided to do four sets of eight to 10 repetitions and we picked a weight that suited us for all those sets. Um, and we, I think we jumped up in weight one time because the first set was a little bit too light for us. Um, as you can see, Leon and I go very, very low. So we uh, almost touch the bar to our chest and then we push it over our heads. As you can see, his head comes forward and that we have a little bit more range of motion so you can push it more with your shoulders. And if you don't do that, if you press a little bit more forward, uh, you tend to use a little bit more of the front delts, uh, but we want to um, use the full shoulder potential with this exercise. That's why we're moving uh, a little bit forward with our head, as you can see here. So we put our head under the bar, uh, and that way we don't put the focus only on the front delts, because, you know, that's what happens when you do that. Um, felt really, really good. Make sure your uh, wrists stay um, straight. That's very, very important. And make sure you, you know, are safe with getting it um, up in the air because it's kind of a tricky one when you're seated. Uh, then we move on to some side raises, superset it with front raises. We count this as one exercise because it's a superset, so I want to count this as one exercise, you know? Um, but I really like to superset this. I've been doing it for years and it just feels really, really good. It gets you a good pump and, um, you know, shoulders is something I don't train that often anymore because I feel like my shoulders are one of the best um, attributes to my body so when I do train them they look insane they're when they're pumped they look extremely 3d and, and juicy in my opinion I think they look really good um, so it's definitely one of my best uh, points on my body and I felt like at some point my shoulders were taking off my arms too much so I that's why I kind of backed off doing shoulder training I only train like two or three times a month which is obviously not enough um, but I don't see anything you know um, changing in a negative way or a positive way uh, for that matter. Uh, so I'm good. I just want to build up my triceps and, and biceps, obviously uh, my arms, uh, so we can get it on a level of the shoulders. But um, we did the side raises seated, as you can see, eight reps, and then we do the front raises standing at the same time. Uh, you can do, you can switch it off. It's a little bit more easy, but we wanted to go balls deep with this one and do the standing one with both at the same time. Try not to swing as much. Obviously, you're gonna use a little bit of momentum. That's why you're standing. You can use a little bit of momentum, but when you're seated, you can't really. And I was trying. I did this trick. I was just doing. I was just playing around with my uh, water bottle, and I just landed on my feet and I juggled it. And I was like, "What the hell?" So I asked Leon to film it, but obviously it didn't work out anymore after I did film it. But um, uh, then we jump into a lat pull down. I used straps for this one as we could go a little bit more heavy. Um, but this one was. Um, it's a very standard exercise. I've been, you know, practice. If, um, I've been telling you guys to do this for a long, long time. So then we move straight back into shoulders and we decided to finish shoulders off with the cable side raises. Cable and dumbbell are very, very different when it comes to uh, when you, how you feel in the muscle. And I really uh, would suggest you guys focus a lot on side raises because um, not a lot of people do side raises enough in my opinion. And side raises really give you that width in the shoulder that everyone's looking for. Kind of gives you the 3D look uh, when you combine it with the rear delts, which obviously a lot of people do neglect as well. But I usually hit rear delts um, when I do back training, so uh, we didn't do it today. But look at Leon, bro. He's so shredded. It's crazy. He's so lean. His striations are insane in his shoulders. As you can see here, I... We look the same size in this video, but he's so much leaner than me. It's crazy. So I'm really, really curious actually how my shoulders would look if I would be as lean. Um, because I think my shoulders would look insane as well. Um, but yeah, great exercise. Uh, I really hold on to the machine as you can see. So I lean a little bit more towards, um, not towards the machine, but... Um, away from the machine and that we get a full stretch in the rear delt and which feels really really good um, As well, I use a cup um, My hand as a cup. I don't really um, have my hand over um, The little handle uh, that way you can feel it really really good And I told someone yesterday it feels almost like you're having a string attached to the outside of your hand and it's pulling up That's how you really want to hit that. Um, that's the best way you're gonna feel um, Cable side raises, excuse me. Um, so yeah, cup, um, cup grip. I, I think you call it cup grip. I'm not sure. 
but um, it's a really good one. And then we finished off with biceps. As I said, we decided to do one exercise with cables and one with uh, barbell. Um, the first one is, as you can see, single arm dumbbell, uh, single arm cable curls. I'm not even, what are you, am I saying? Uh, but yeah, very easy. Uh, I think we did three sets of eight each side with the side raises as well. Three sets, eight repetitions on each side. And the pull downs, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but we did four sets with 10 exercises. Uh, and then we finished off with some barbell curls. Uh, a little bit too heavy for me. Uh, this one, as I decided to throw on 25 uh, pound plates. And I wasn't really happy because I had to swing a little bit too much with this, uh, with this last exercise. We did three sets of 10 repetitions. But I, I think I got it on the last one, which is a very, very, you know, yeah, struggling set. As you can see my face, I was dying. So that was the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure I'll write it down in the description as well so you guys can try it out. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Deuces! <laughs>